sweet, tint of salty, cracked egg in the middle, savoury sweet Korean eggy bread. Get em bang. Welcome back to Wok Wednesday, or Wok Less Wednesday, because we're here at School of Wok, London's Asian Cookery School, baking today. And it's a very, very simple Korean street food dish. I like it because it sounds like my name. The first thing we've got here is your plain flour. I'm going to make up a quick batter, and it is kind of like one of those like throw everything in together batters that should really work quite easily. Got plain flour, a little bit of baking powder. Just make that nice and uniform. Some sugar. And you're thinking, wait, this is a savoury bread. It's actually more of a cake with salty ingredients in. And you get that perfect balance of sweet, salty flavour. Kind of like a cake version of sweet, salty popcorn. A couple of eggs. And then just start to break those up a little. And we've got a pinch of salt because you want that bread or the cake to have a bit of sweet salty in it, as well as the sort of bacon and things that I'm going to add to this later on. And then I've got some milk here. Give that a good whisk. Start to incorporate all that flour. And then as you get sort of closer to a nice cake batter, I've got some melted butter here, which I'm gonna just gently pour in. We're going for almost like a pancake batter consistency. I feel like that is that sort of dripping consistency is enough milk. So I'm not going to use all of that milk. Got some vanilla extract here just to add to that cakey feeling. Now in not just Korea, but all over Asia. From a bakery perspective, there's a, this, the breads tend to be that much sweeter, which is why this recipe has a fair bit of sugar in it. So that cake mix is pretty much there. See, really easy. I've actually got, and this is not 100% essential, but I've got some crispy bacon that I've just fried up. Nice and easy. And I'm gonna use the bacon fat to, just because I can, to line or to brush inside my muffin tins. You can use butter or oil and you can see the consistency of this batter. Really nice and smooth. I'd recommend filling your trays sort of no more than two thirds the way up. Next, again, optional, I've got some mozzarella, just grated mozzarella here, which I'm gonna place into each tin. So now these look like I might fill them a little bit over, but hey, as so long as they puff up, I don't mind. I'm gonna pop them in the oven, 200 degrees C for about 12 to 13 minutes if I hopefully want the yolk still to be soft. Wow, and look at those. They're nice and domed, and I'm pretty sure those yolks are still soft. Now, I just love that someone even invented this because I, although I do like sweet things, I'm definitely more of a savory tooth for the most part, but the perfect balance of these, and then hopefully that yolk has a little bit of ooze to it as well. It should be a little bit bouncy, a little bit spongy, a little bit fun. And then these bacon bits 
kind of just leisurely sit and top, show you that sort of lovely yoke. My incredible Gyeran Pang Korean street food eggy bread. First off, Good way to start your breakfast off. Mm. Oh my golly gosh. If you don't try this, there's something wrong with you. You've got that lovely stringy cheesiness inside from that grated mozzarella as well. Yerenpang, I love you. <laughs> you sure you want to be dairy free? <laughs> Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, eat more Gyeran Pang.